Now at noon, a South Florida woman who was hit by a rubber bullet back in 2020 is now taking legal action against the Fort Lauderdale Police Department. Her lawyers announced a lawsuit against the department. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live in Fort Lauderdale with those details. And Nicole, that announcement happened right here in the parking lot of the Fort Lauderdale Police Department. They say they are taking this to federal court because in the two years since it happened, there hasn't been much change within this department. It happened during the summer of protest in the Black Lives Matter movement, May 31st, 2020. During a demonstration in downtown Fort Lauderdale, Latoya Ratliff was shot in the face with a rubber bullet. Two years to the day it happened, she has filed a federal lawsuit saying her civil rights were violated. He was not acting in self defense, he was not acting in the defense of others, he was using tear gas and rubber bullets to disperse a crowd of peaceful demonstrators without any warning. The Fort Lauderdale police officer who fired the bullet was clear during an investigation. A city commissioner did apologize to Ratliff, but she says necessary change has not happened within the department. We trust this community to do the right thing, and that's why we trust a jury in this community to bring full accountability for what happened. And that trust means and that full account accountability means that this kind of thing won't happen again. Ratliff was not here for the announcement because of a medical issue. She has spoken in the past about her experience. I, I want the Fort Lauderdale Police Department to be held accountable. I think it's important that there are some reforms that are put in place so something like this can never happen again. And we're told Ratliff still suffers a lot of post-traumatic stress disorder and constant pain from her injury. She has not had surgery, but is supposed to have several surgeries to help repair the injuries she suffered. Now, we did reach out to the city of Fort Lauderdale. They said they have no comment on this lawsuit. In Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS4 News.